Okay, this is a, a tutorial on using Audacity uh, for things like re any general audio recording and also for podcasting, for example. Uh, first thing you need to do is uh, download Audacity if you don't have it already. You can find it here, audacity.sourceforge.net. You could just do a Google search for it as well. And just go ahead and uh, you'll see on the front page, if you have Windows, for example, they have some links right here where you can download it. Uh, once you've downloaded and installed it, uh, then go back to the uh, download page, download tab here, and uh, click on plugins and libraries down here. All right, and go down through the list of plugins until you find the Lame MP3 encoding library. And I know it's kind of an unfortunate name, Lame. Uh, mp3 encoding library but uh, it's not lame uh, it does the job so just click on the lame FAQ link here and then you'll see a uh, link to the lame download page and finally you find the place where you can download the plugin which is right here for Windows users uh, down here they have options for Mac users alright and uh, just uh, uh, install that and you should be ready to go so here's audacity this is, this is what the interface looks like, basically. I'll kind of stretch it out here so you can see more of what it looks like. Okay. Let me put it back so we can fit it all onto one screen here. Okay, so as you can see here, you have some editing controls. You have your playback and record controls. You have your um, levels for your... Uh, volume going out and your levels for your volume coming in from your microphone or whatever you're using uh, also you can see those here uh, you can change this is just for reading the levels and this is for changing the level uh, the level of output and the level of recording input okay and over here you will see the device that you're recording from so you could for example choose uh, something other than a microphone to record from all right, and then down here is going to be the place where your audio is recorded. So let's just go ahead and record some audio. Just simply hit the record button, and you will see that uh, the audio starts recording. All right, and uh, everything is going fine. All right, so once you've recorded enough audio and you like it, uh, just hit stop. And then you can, you can go ahead through here, and uh, you can go ahead and uh, play through the audio file. All right, so if you're happy with that, for example, um, you could go ahead and just go to File and Export as MP3. Uh, definitely, if you're doing a podcast, you want to export as an MP3 file. All right, if you want to edit this, uh, this file, if there's different things you don't like about it, there's uh, many ways you can go about doing that. Um, up here are the standard editing tools. And as you can see here, the selection tool is uh, the one you're going to use the most. Also, the uh, this tool here to zoom in and zoom out. All right, you can zoom in and out with these buttons as well. All right, so the selection tool you can use to select and manipulate parts of the section. So, for example, if I don't like this section of audio, I can just select that and hit my delete key and delete it. All right, I will hit Control Z to undo that. Or if I wanted to, to for example, um, add a, a filter to just that part of it, an effect, I could uh, add the, for example, echo effect to just that part that's selected. Uh, I could hit Control A to select the entire section that has audio, and then I could apply the effect to the entire section. All right. Uh, another thing that is nice to have here is the next tool, which is this uh, envelope tool. And as you can see here, by clicking in here, you can create an envelope and you can expand the uh, volume of just those sections. So, for example, I can just click in here. If one person, for example, is talking and that person is very loud, we can squish them down. And then if another person is talking here and that person is a bit low, we can um, stretch their, their volume out. So, we have... Uh, quite a lot of control over the volume of the clip on a section-by-section uh, -section basis and uh, so we've got this um, we want to if we wanted to save all this and come back to it later and edit it some more uh, we would have to save the project file save project as or save project because if we just go ahead and export as a WAV file or an mp3 file 
we're just going to get the sound. We're not going to get any of this uh, stuff that we can ma manipulate later. All right. Another thing that uh, you might want to do is apply an effect. And um, the most common effect you're probably going to want to do uh, for your own recordings of dialogue, for example, would be the noise removal effect. Uh, to use this, let me go ahead and zoom in here a little bit. Zoom in a little bit more. So you'll see here um, in this part where no one's speaking that uh, there's a kind of a hiss, uh, a noise we want to remove. So let's select the area when no one's talking, when we just have the noise sound. Go to Effect, Noise Removal, and click on uh, Get Noise Profile. All right, so that stored this sound as the noise that we wanted to remove. All right, so let's zoom out a bit more and hit Control A to apply this effect to the whole thing. All right, so we go to Effect, Noise Removal, and then you see here we have uh, less noise removal and more noise removal. So of course, the less noise removal, the less the noise will be removed. The more noise removal, the more it will be removed, but also the more uh, it will uh, change the audio file. Just the audio file will become more distorted the more you remove the noise. So you have to find a balance and you can select something and, and preview it. Okay, so you can hear it with the effect applied. Once you've found uh, the uh, amount of the effect that you want, hit, hit remove noise and th then, I don't know if you saw that, but the wave file kind of shrunk down and so uh, the noise will have been removed. All right, and then you should save your project in order to save all that. Okay, uh, that's pretty much really all you have to do. There's more you can get into. Uh, there's a lot more tools in here. Uh, there's quite a few things you can record. Of course, mul multiple tracks of audio. Uh, you could uh, put the playhead here at a certain point where you want the next track to start, and just hit start recording, and you'll see that it starts recording there. So you can mix all these different audio tracks together. Uh, so there is a lot you can do with it. But that is enough to get you started for right now. Uh, I hope that helps.